Well, a very good morning and a most warm welcome back to this absolutely free transmission from me, Neil Maurice, on Thursday, the 25th of May. Welcome back and a warm welcome after yesterday's lovely free winner. Of course, that was Morning Sun returned at three to one when it won at air. It was backed in from seven to two. And um, I think you'll agree that the, the video bets of the last few days have been absolutely pinging in the winners. Not only that, my private clients' bets have also been resoundingly good, including a Trixie earlier in the week. That was three bets, three winners, uh, and a massive treble landed there. Now, I will I have to advise you, just have to, that if you want to get these private bets, which are given out by me uh, at nine o'clock every morning, it, emailed and texted to you of course all you have to do is pay 99 pounds it takes you all the way through until november the membership of that for 99 pounds and what it comprises all that private information that i get out and this is proper information remembering of course that i move around from yard to yard from track to track and i'm in touch with racing professionals every day every minute of my life and those private clients who are re reaping the dividends of being a member certainly have no complaints whatsoever because they are absolutely rolling in funds and to do that and to become a member all you have to do is click the link below the paypal link pay 99 pounds and you will be in not only that this is a huge day on the private service i've got two horses one of them is unraced and i fully expect this to show horses in the race that have public form that he is the master and another horse uh, given out uh, taking on an odds on favorite that again i think has got the ammunition to down the uh, the jolly i really do those two bets can be yours by joining right now if you join you will get them immediately now let's get on to today's free bets running in the big race or one of the big races at sandown this evening i think you'll agree it's a cracking card and how could it not be with the reappearance of last year's derby hero desert crown in the brigadier gerard stakes at 742 well, as you probably know, Desert Crown suffered a hairline fracture of a joint which has kept him off the track uh, since that uh, Epsom victory. It's almost exactly a year, but Sir Michael Stout certainly wouldn't persevere with a horse like this unless he thought it was well worthwhile. And in his last two bits of work on polytrack and grass, this horse has been exceptional. I fully expect him to win tonight. Um, he's got his uh, pacemaker solid stone in there to ensure that there's no hanging around. He will win, but he is odds on and I cannot recommend him as a bet as an odds on shot. You know, I very, very rarely do that. But in the 8-12, now is, this is a lovely race, the Whitson Cup, in which Sir Michael Stout's double-handed. And I'm really torn here because I'm, I'm struggling to separate them. There's a lot of, uh, uh, of uh, distance in the betting between these two horses. Number one, Aryan Power, the top weight, of course. Number one, who is trading at around seven to one. And assessment, horse number seven, the Mount of Ryan Moore, who you may remember went to York last week and through no fault of his own, the gate triggered and he came out. And it, uh, I have to uh, impress on you, it wasn't his fault. He galloped round a bit, but he was none the worse for that. He's passed a subsequent stalls test with flying colours. He is a five to two shot. And I don't know which one of these will win. I'm pretty sure that one of them will so I'm giving you a win bet on assessment at five to two. He's lightly raced. He's got plenty of room for improvement for uh, owners, uh, the Cheveley Park stud. But Aryan Power Horse number one, he's had his issues and he's back uh, or he came back from an enforced absence on the all weather. Uh, didn't run that well, actually. But I think this horse is a lot better than we've seen lately. And with so few miles on his racing engine, there could well be more to come. Indeed, if he rediscovers his old form, he's certainly not badly handicapped. And he, by the way, is a seven to one shot each way on Aryan power, win on assessment, free from me, Neil, to you. And until I return to update the message at the same time, nine o'clock tomorrow, Friday, it's Neil saying have a lovely day ahead.